Hello everyone and welcome to Malta. As you can see, now we are in our hotel room. I came here with my mom and this is our terrace where I initially wanted to start this video, but you hear the noise, it's so annoying. So at the moment, I'm just gonna tell you our plan for the next few days from this room. We will be staying here in the next seven days. So I have kind of a plan where I want to go, but tonight I still have to see which day we are doing what, because there is a lot to see. And the island is pretty small, but there are so many different cities, let's say. So hopefully you will enjoy this video. It's my first time in Malta, so I also don't know what to expect. I've seen some pictures, but honestly, it's always better if you see something in person. Enjoy Malta with us and I will talk to you soon. Our hotel is located in Sliema, the city that's just across the capital Valletta. So the first day we decided to explore it a bit, walk around and find a nice sunset spot. Malta is a small island, so cities are close to each other, but if you want to use public transportation like we will in the following days, it's best to be close to Valletta since it's connected to every city with bus lines, but also to the airport and from the airport we used Bolt, which is similar to Uber. So for the reasonable price, you can also go from one city to another or just to the airport like we did. The first full day we decided to spend in Valletta, the capital of Malta. We took a ferry from Sliema and in less than 10 minutes arrived to Valletta. It is enough to just walk around the city without any plan and enjoy the architecture around you since the historical center is pretty small and you can see everything in few hours but we took it slow and stayed almost the whole day. The very famous architectural detail on the buildings is the terrace called Galleria, if I'm pronouncing it well, but you can see many of them painted in different colors around the city. Welcome to Valletta. If you didn't know, Malta was a British colony until 1964. So you can find many of these famous telephone boxes around the island and everyone besides Maltese speak English as it's one of the two official languages. Another interesting thing is that they drive on the opposite side of the road, the English way. So if you're planning to rent a car or scooter here, be aware that you need to drive differently. One of the attractions you shouldn't miss is St. John's Co Cathedral. I recommend booking tickets in advance to escape the queue. We waited around 20 minutes, but this was mid-October, so probably in summer there's a lot more people. With the ticket, you will also get the audio guide that is explaining many different rooms and paintings around the cathedral, so that's pretty cool. I don't know about the rest of you, but every time after visiting some exhibitions, I get hungry. So we decided to go to Grano, apparently the best sandwich place in Valletta. We decided to split one sandwich because it was huge at the moment for both of us to eat the whole one. But in general, they have many, many options and they are so tasty. Mm.
After lunch, we walked towards the upper Baraka Gardens from where you can also see the three cities where we will go tomorrow. But the interesting thing is that every day here at 12 and 4 p.m. they fire guns as saluting battery. So we wanted to see how that looks like and I will leave you footages here so you can enjoy the view as well. Besides the upper Baraka Gardens, there is also lower Baraka Gardens. Everything is pretty close to each other, so I'm saying again, you can see all of this in one day. And in my opinion, this is even more beautiful than the upper gardens, but a bit smaller. We just stayed around until the sunset and then after we went back to Ferry and Sliema. Today we are visiting the three cities on the other side of Valletta. We had to take two buses with the change in Valletta since there was no direct from Sliema. We arrived first to Cospicua and from there you can basically walk to another two cities called Senglea and Birgu. I hope I'm pronouncing them correctly by the way, but probably not so much. The cities are very similar to each other, even to Valletta, and you won't feel like you've crossed from one city to another since there is not a visible ending and beginning. It's enough to walk around and enjoy the vibe and architecture, which is exactly what we did. After watching the sunset from the end point of Birgu, we took a gondola for 2 euros to cross the canal to Valletta. It was a very cool ride and it's definitely a nice experience to see cities also from this perspective. And then we just took a short walk in Valletta and went to sleep. After a morning dip in the pool, we took a bus to Marsha Clocks. 
I'm really bad with these city names. But this is a small fisherman village. If you want to eat some fresh seafood and buy cute souvenirs, this place is perfect. Otherwise, there is not much to see besides colorful boats. The main reason people come here actually is to take a boat to St. Peter's Pool, the cliff jumping spot, but we skipped it this time. Then we went back a bit north and stopped by another small city, Tarxien, and just walked around a bit as well. This day was a bit more chill and in the evening we had a dinner in a restaurant in Sliema and I had a mini cake for my birthday. So today it's time to visit the famous Blue Lagoon. Let's go. This trip was very long since we decided to take a bus to the northest point of the island and then ferry to the Blue Lagoon. The country of Malta has three islands, Malta, Comino and Gozo. So it is also possible to do a boat tour to Comino and Gozo together, but then the time in the Blue Lagoon is limited. So that's why we decided to go on our own and stay longer. Maybe it wasn't the best day to do this trip. So because of the waves, the boat couldn't go near the lagoon and it left us on the other corner of the island. So we had to walk. It wasn't the best road, as you can see, but we made it in around 15 minutes. And what was supposed to look like this because of the waves ended up looking like this. Anyways, we still had fun swimming, but the color of the water wasn't so dreamy as we expected. We came back from our trip today and they left all of this for my birthday. It's super cute. Also, we have some fruits there. And there is a cute little note. Dear guest, we wish you very happy birthday and nice holiday from all of us, the staff and management. <laughs> There's a smiley. That night we went to Valletta again, since it's the most lively place at this period of the year. And we had grano sandwiches again and some drinks. Good morning, time to see Medina, the old capital of Malta. This is a very small city surrounded by walls and we entered without any plan and walked around enjoying cute little corners. Overall, it was my second favorite place after Valletta, so I definitely recommend visiting if you're coming to Malta. If you have more time in the afternoon, you can visit Rabat that is just next to Medina. And besides the city, you can also visit the catacombs.
morning, it's our last day here and today we decided to spend the day a bit more chill because we both got a bit of a cold, I don't know where since it's super hot. Anyways, we will be today at the pool here on our rooftop and then in the evening maybe we could go to Valletta one more time before we leave. Malta is amazing so far, I really liked it as you could see through these videos but also I was expecting that it has more beaches and more like, I don't know, just places where you can swim and enjoy sun and everything but it's more mostly like rocks and you have to jump either it's a cliff jumping which is not very suitable for someone who is a bit older and the blue lagoon was super cool as well but i just wish it wasn't that wavy we didn't go to gozo which is the third island and i guess i just have to come back here again one day but yeah i mean maybe we would go but yesterday really after this medina city i already started feeling bad so we will leave gozo for another time and also some other cliffs around malta i mean you can google it there are many that you can go and it's very pretty if you are interested in these kind of things i guess i will just leave you a few more videos of what we are doing today and because tomorrow morning we have to check out and we have flight around 2 p.m i think so enjoy the rest of this video and let's go to the pool now also if you were wondering how our room looks like this is it and we have a big terrace here that doesn't have the sea view but it's super big it's bigger than the whole room and here is the bathroom so very cozy and big So that is it thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this travel vlog if you are planning a trip to malta be aware that even four or five days are enough to see these places i'm sending you kisses and i will see you soon in my next video bye